Melbourne. Today I'll be discussing the importance of implementing positive reinforcement within the classroom. I'll be integrating my recent classroom experiences along with additional theory and industry expectations, acknowledging how my view has altered from Part A Assessment 1. Positive reinforcement is a significant quality to have as a teacher. Al Gamaher, 2017, conveys that positive reinforcement has significant benefits on behavioural outcomes and is a sufficient technique in guiding students to achieve higher grades. Since being in the classroom and getting to observe all years from K to 6, I have noticed the importance of positive reinforcement and how knowing your students well can effectively assist this important quality. For my immersion, I was placed in a low socioeconomic school. I was exposed to a variety of behaviour problems. Positive reinforcement was utilised extensively within the classroom. By teachers knowing their students and understanding students' situations, backgrounds and traumas allowed them to effectively utilise positive reinforcement through praise, feedback and rewards. Joel Vetti 2008 demonstrates that positive reinforcement and understanding students' different abilities and needs helps organise effective strategies and behaviour management outcomes. Joel Vetti also conveys that students that suffer with emotional behaviour disorder respond effectively to positive reinforcement as they generally don't receive this encouragement at home. This was evident in observation when I learned about students' backgrounds and witnessed how, te how teachers would often provide positive reinforcement to the student. In the school environment, teachers utilise verbal positive reinforcement through feedback and praise. Kate Brown, 2013, explores the importance of displaying positive reinforcement through clear constructive communication between students and teachers, which indicates a number of valuable implications for policy and practice. Through teachers encouraging students and recognising positive behaviour provided students with confidence and determination. Al Gamadar, 2017, states effective feedback and praise are significant teaching tools that needed to be implemented by teachers in order to promote students' learning and foster a positive relationship between the teacher and student. Teachers utilise positive reinforcement through a reward system. When appropriate behaviour was evident, small tickets were handed out called WOWs. At the end of the week, the teachers organised four prizes to be won from a lucky draw. Kay in 2015 explores the effectiveness of appropriate use of reward systems in schools and acknowledges how it gets students to work effectively. Garas 2016 also supports this statement by recognising how rewards enhance autonomous motivation and serve as a substitute for personal feedback, making it possible to achieve learning outcomes in a learning context where personal interaction is limited. This school also implemented tactical ignoring as behaviour management strategy, which can be seen as a negative reinforcement, creating a contrast between my chosen quality. When I first witnessed tactical ignoring within the classroom, I disagreed with this strategy as I believed it, believed it was not a good way to teach children and develop their behaviour management skills. However, my perception on this behaviour management strategy was transformed when I began to witness the benefits of this technique. Sterling 2013 recognises how ignoring some behaviours can result in positive behaviour management. He also conveys the importance of utilising positive and negative reinforcement as a dynamic duo to result in optimal behaviour management. I further talked to teachers in the staff rooms about behaviour management and they really emphasised on the importance of tactical ignoring. Tactical ignoring allows you to keep the rest of the class calm and then you can further address the problem with the child when in an appropriate situation. Bernier 2012 acknowledges the use of positive and negative reinforcement in combination and suggests that it increases compliance and simultaneously decreases problem behaviour within a classroom. Through observation and researching a variety of resources, it was evident that positive reinforcement within the classroom does have major impact and influence on the way students behave. Positive reinforcement is a major tool to control and minimise behaviour problems in the classroom. It was evident that when teachers or myself utilised positive reinforcement, students gained encouragement, determination to work effectively and efficiently.